Coach Moore, a little bit of um, like a tale of two halves today. Um, first quarter was a little uh, slow, like it was the last home game against Butler. But second half, it was a three-point game. What, what, what adjustments did you make at the break? Yeah, you know, we, we talked about our ball pressure, and that was key number one all week. And that's what I think is so frustrating because we our prep week and our two practices leading up to this were incredible, probably two of our best practices uh, this season. And that's what's frustrating because we didn't display that in the first half. And it took us to the third quarter for us to get up and actually pressure. And then that's when I told them we were plus six, one um, five minutes, and then another plus six, which is, you know, it was a 12-0 run there. And that's how we needed to start the game. Um, so for us, it's getting back to work and keep growing these young women. Um, we are young and inexperienced, and I feel that. Um, so that's where we got to just keep keep harping on the little things, the small details, because we will continue to get better. How much do you think Michaela Scarlett getting into foul trouble in the, in the first half kind of played to that a little bit? She's kind of our floor general a little bit, and she got I think three early fouls in the first quarter. It was huge. I mean, you take Mac, just what she brings to our team. Um, she plays the point, so she gets us into our offense. She usually will guard one of the toughest uh, pl uh, perimeter players. And then you look at uh, what she does just overall scoring for us. So that was hard. And I felt like that kind of got us out of sync. Um, and then our backup point point guards are both freshmen and just the experience of a, a good NCAA tournament Villanova team, you know, and that's where it kind of showed in that first half. You talk about Courtney Pranger's performance, um, another uh, double figure scoring game for her. Seven of her um, 11 career double figure scoring games have been this year in her senior year. Pretty good stat line, had a um, team high, tied the team high for blocks and uh, steals as well. Court's our glue, you know, Court's a leader too. And she's grown so much. Uh, she's the one leading kind of our locker room now, just with speaking up on things, which I think it says a lot on who she is. She's a winner, she's a fighter, she's a competitor. Um, and I know she was bothered with today's first half for sure. Um, but she continues to be just consistent. I would say that's what Courtney Pranger is. She's, she shows up every day. She works. She practices how she plays in the game. And that's why she's probably one of our most consistent kids. And then Nyla Blackford um, had a team high six rebounds. Uh, two points away from 1,000. I don't know if you guys were trying to get it to her there at the end. It, it looked like maybe you were down the stretch. Um, can you talk about how she's coming along? She missed some time this fall uh, with an injury, but she certainly um, you know, was as Mike would say, a double-double machine at Kent State. And um, how is she starting to progress now that her minutes are going up? Yeah, I think when you, um, you know, when you're out with an injury, it's hard mentally. And then um, for her to be out the, the length that she was, and then you come back and you're in game mode. So there's no, okay, you get preseason to kind of get your feet wet, wet, understand the offense, the chemistry with your teammates, and boom, we're, we added her and it's Big East play. You know, so it went from high level basketball. So I think she's still getting her confidence back of just in what she can bring to our team and the chemistry amongst our guards and her. Um, but I know she continues to get better every day. She's another kid that's in the gym all the time. I'll hear the ball bounce and I look down and it's Nyla. Um, and she'll get extra, extra in all the time. That's just who she is. So we'll continue to uh, grow her within our offensive system and defensive system. And I know that uh, she's only going to continue to grow herself. Any other uh, takeaways from today's game? No, we just will uh, get back at it and be ready for uh, a tough matchup with UConn next week. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.